Over the years, it has become evident that artificial intelligence in its prime is going to be the next big thing that will completely shift the way the world functions. Even today, it is being used in diverse fields from cyber security, energy, management to even aiding governments in policy making and efficiency and has numerous success stories. Thus, this field has been the focal point of research for both businesses and scientists and we have witnessed many breakthroughs, especially in the area of robotics and machine learning. However, AI still faces many challenges, according to a new study by researchers from the University of Cambridge and the University of Oslo, AI generally suffers from inherent limitations due to a century-old mathematical paradox. Humans are usually pretty good at recognizing when they get things wrong, but artificial intelligence systems are not. Like some people, AI systems often have a degree of confidence that far exceeds their actual abilities. And like an overconfident person, many AI systems don't know when they're making mistakes. Sometimes it's even more difficult for an AI system to realize when it's making a mistake than to produce a correct result. These researchers say that instability is the Achilles heel of modern AI and that a mathematical paradox shows AI's limitations. Neural networks, the state-of-the-art tool in AI, roughly mimics the links between neurons in the brain. The researchers show that there are problems where stable and accurate neural networks exist, yet no algorithm can produce such a network. Only in specific cases can algorithms compute stable and accurate neural networks. The researchers propose a classification theory, describing when neural networks can be trained to provide a trustworthy AI system under certain specific conditions. Deep learning, the leading AI technology for pattern recognition, has been the subject of numerous breathless headlines. Examples include diagnosing disease more accurately than physicians or preventing road accidents through autonomous driving. However, many deep learning systems are untrustworthy and easy to fool. The co-author says many AI systems are unstable and it's becoming a major liability, especially as they are increasingly used in high-risk areas such as disease diagnosis or autonomous vehicles. If AI systems are used in areas where they can do real harm if they go wrong, trust in those systems has got to be the top priority. The paradox identified by the researchers traces back to two 20th century mathematical giants, Alan Turing and Kurt Goodell. At the beginning of the 20th century, mathematicians attempted to justify mathematics as the ultimate consistent language of science. However, Turing and Goodell showed a paradox at the heart of mathematics. It is impossible to prove whether certain mathematical statements are true or false, and some computational problems cannot be tackled with algorithms. And whenever a mathematical system is rich enough to describe the arithmetic we learn at school, it cannot prove its own consistency. Decades later, the mathematician Steve Smale proposed a list of 18 unresolved mathematical problems for the 21st century. The 18th problem concerned the limits of intelligence for both humans and machines. The researchers say that because of this paradox, there are cases where good neural networks can exist, yet an inherently trustworthy one cannot be built. No matter how accurate your data is, you can never get the perfect information to build the required neural network, said a co-author. The impossibility of computing the good existing neural network is also true regardless of the amount of training data. No matter how much data an algorithm can access, it will never produce the desired network. This is similar to Turing's argument. There are computational problems that cannot be solved regardless of computing power and runtime, said Hansen. The Researchers say that not all AI is inherently flawed, but it's only reliable in specific areas using specific methods. The issue is with areas where you need a guarantee because many AI systems are a black box. It's completely fine in some situations for an AI to make mistakes, but it needs to be honest about it. And that's not what we're seeing for many systems. There's no way of knowing when they're more confident or less confident about a decision. Currently, AI systems can sometimes have a touch of guesswork to them. You try something and if it doesn't work, you add more stuff, hoping it works. At some point, you'll get tired of not getting what you want and you'll try a different method. It's important to understand the limitations of different approaches. We are at the stage where the practical successes of AI are far ahead of theory and understanding. A program on understanding the foundations of AI computing is needed to bridge this gap. 
when 20th century mathematicians identified different paradoxes, they didn't stop studying mathematics. They just had to find new paths because they understood the limitations, said a co-author. For AI, it may be a case of changing paths or developing new ones to build systems that can solve problems in a trustworthy and transparent way while understanding their limitations. The next stage for the researchers is to combine approximation theory, numerical analysis and foundations of computations to determine which neural networks can be computed by algorithms and which can be made stable and trustworthy. Just as the paradoxes on the limitations of mathematics and computers identified by Gerdell and Turing led to rich foundation theories, describing both the limitations and the possibilities of mathematics and computations. Perhaps a similar foundation theory may blossom in artificial intelligence. Meanwhile, a new risk analysis published in the journal Nature Machine Intelligence warns that the future use of artificial intelligence in agriculture comes with substantial potential risks for farms, farmers and food security that are poorly understood and underappreciated. Artificial intelligence is on the cusp of driving an agricultural revolution and helping confront the challenge of feeding our growing global population sustainably. But using new AI technologies at scale holds huge risks that are not being considered. Imagine a field of wheat that extends to the horizon being grown for flour that will be made into bread to feed cities worth of people. Imagine that all authority for tilling, planting, fertilizing, monitoring and harvesting this field has been delegated to artificial intelligence. Algorithms that control drip irrigation systems, self-driving tractors and combined harvesters clever enough to respond to the weather and the exact needs of the crop. Then imagine a hacker messes things up. The first author of the paper said the idea of intelligent machines running farms is not science fiction. Large companies are already pioneering the next generation of autonomous agribots and decision support systems that will replace humans in the field. But so far no one seems to have asked the question, are there any risks associated with the rapid deployment of agricultural AI, he added. Despite the huge promise of AI for improving crop management and agricultural productivity, potential risks must be addressed responsibly and new technologies properly tested in experimental settings to ensure they are safe and secure against accidental failures, unintended consequences and cyber attacks, the authors say. In their research, they have come up with a catalog of risks that must be considered in the responsible development of AI for agriculture and ways to address them. In it, they raise the alarm about cyber attacks, potentially causing disruption to commercial farms using AI by poisoning datasets or by shutting down sprayers, autonomous drones and robotic harvesters. To guard against this, they suggest that white hat hackers help companies uncover any security failings during the development phase so that systems can be safeguarded against real hackers. In a scenario associated with accidental failure, the authors suggest that an AI system programmed only to deliver the best crop yield in the short term might ignore the environmental consequences of achieving this, leading to overuse of fertilizers and soil erosion in the long term. Over application of pesticides in pursuit of high yields could poison ecosystems. Over application of nitrogen fertilizer would pollute the soil and surrounding waterways. The authors suggest involving applied ecologists in the technology design process to ensure these scenarios are avoided. Autonomous machines could improve the working conditions of farmers, relieving them of manual labor. But without inclusive technology design, socio-economic inequalities that are currently entrenched in global agriculture, including gender, class and ethnic discriminations, will remain. Expert AI farming systems that don't consider the complexities of labor inputs will ignore and potentially sustain the exploitation of disadvantaged communities. Various agribots and advanced machinery such as drones and sensors are already used to gather information on crops and support farmers' decision making, detecting diseases or insufficient irrigation for example, and self-driving combined harvesters can bring in a crop without the need for a human operator. Such automated systems aim to make farming more efficient, saving labor costs, optimizing production, and minimizing loss and waste. This leads to increasing revenues for farmers as well as to greater reliance on agricultural AI.
However, small scale growers who cultivate the majority of farms worldwide and feed large swaths of the so called global south are likely to be excluded from AI related benefits. Marginalization, poor internet penetration rates, and the digital divide might prevent smallholders from using advanced technologies, widening the gaps between the commercial and subsistence farmers. With an estimated 2 billion people afflicted by food insecurity, including some 690 million malnourished and 340 million children suffering micronutrient deficiencies. Artificial intelligence technologies and precision agriculture promise substantial benefits for food and nutritional security in the face of climate change and a growing global population. AI is being hailed as the way to revolutionize agriculture. As we deploy this technology on a large scale, we should closely consider potential risks and aim to mitigate those early on in the technology design," said a co-author of the new research. Well, one thing is for sure, whether we like it or not, AI is here to stay. We can benefit humanity substantially if used properly. However, if we do not address the risks early on, it might be too late in the future. What are your thoughts on the potentials and dangers of AI? Do let us know in the comments.